Good morning. Late last night, we transitioned from a search and rescue mission to one of recovery and investigation. With that transition, our police department, along with their investigative and law enforcement partners, are now in charge of the operation. Our primary focus is to remove all of the cars and all of the victims in a dignified manner and, do, and not compromise the investigation in the process. So obviously this is going to be a, you know, a, a, it's a very difficult task because of the uh, type of equipment that are, uh, it's required. So we had some of the equipment out here last night. Uh, we need to bring other equipment so that's going to be here in the scene to uh, start to remove these pieces, trying to make the pieces smaller and more controllable. So it's going to be a, a, you know, a tedious process to be able to do that. Once we uh, break that uh, large piece apart, then we'll be able to start pulling it off. So um, it's going to be very te tedious. Yes. Eh, gracias por estar aquí de nuevo. So from now on, we're not even going to talk numbers anymore because we, we expect to find other, uh, other individuals on there. So, so the, what's probably best is that we, we wait to get to all the vehicles and then we're going to give you a grand total of, of the, this you know, fatality and the magnitude of this event. Our priority, which is the most critical thing, is to get to the victims, get the, to the remains of the people that are underneath that bridge so that we could take them to the proper place so that their families can have the appropriate burial and, and ceremonies that they want to have, that last chance, the opportunity to have with their family members. We know that there's people missing. The family members know that they're missing. And what we can tell them is that we could assume that they're in there, but we cannot confirm identity of who's in there. So we're caught in a bad place right now. I don't even know if there was a stress hit. I don't even know if there was a stress test. I've been hearing that. Uh, that right now, we have not confirmed that definitely that that was the, the issue. We have not confirmed that there was a stress test. We've heard that just as you have, and that will be confirmed. But the, the key here is not to jump to conclusions, not to speak on speculation, but to work off of facts, and that's what we plan to do. Good morning again, Dave Downey. We exhausted last night all of our search and rescue capabilities uh, in, in the hopes of finding additional survivors. We used auditory, we used visual, we used our canines, and uh, we've determined that uh, there's no longer any survivors. That's why we transitioned into this recovery mode. Good morning. Uh, I am Robert Sumwell. Our entire purpose for being here is to find out what happened so that we can keep it from happening again. Eso. Gracias.